This is an update on the Goal Zero Yeti 400. What I'm going to show you is how to make it smoking when it's recharging. Uh, last night we had two computers, two cell phones, and this camera all recharging or being charged by the Yeti 400. And today uh, we wanted to recharge the Yeti 400. So let me show you what we're using. I'm using four panels of the Goal Zero Boulder 15. There's this one set, that set, and then I'm looking at the Nomad 13, which is no longer available. They are all paired together or chained together to charge the uh, uh, Yeti 400. Theoretically, that should be putting out 75 watts, but then you also have to consider the angle of the sun and, and so forth. Uh, and it also is a function of how discharged the Goal Zero Yeti 400 was. Uh, let me show you what it's charging at right now, and it's been charging for about uh, two hours. The older versions have this uh, connector on the back, one output and one uh, for chaining. The newer ones do not. The newer version, which is now on sale, it was a couple weeks ago for about half off for the Boulder 15, the configuration of the panel in the back is different. You have one for going directly into the um, uh, solar generator or for chaining, and you have its own dedicated USB for charging a single USB adapter or if you have a bridge one of those. So you can chain these two together and then directly connect to um, the Goal Zero Yeti 400 uh, without having a special cable. Now you might wonder why I don't have all these on a stand. Well in, in a lot of areas especially where we camp uh, you need to co-locate or move around the panel separately to get maximum uh, sun coverage. Uh, and when you have odd sizes like what we have here, it doesn't work too well. So you find a rock or some place to just lay them on the ground. Uh, the point is, is that with this kind of power, and this is about the maximum you're going to get to be effective with the Yeti 400, uh, you have an excellent uh, power supply for As your base. As you can see, it's, putting, it's charging in at about 28 watts. That's down from 40 uh, two hours ago, and it's almost fully charged. So my point is, is that the 75 watt uh, potential, the 75 watt potential is equivalent to plugging this directly into an, uh, a home AC circuit. So with uh, four uh, Goal Zero Boulder 15 panels plus one of the smaller ones that I kept you can get to the equivalent of plugging it into the wall. Fully charged uh, from 80% using 75 watts of input power uh, in about three hours. Uh, and that's again charging a bunch of equipment from, from last night. So it really does help to have, have enough solar power and uh, have, have them plugged in. This is day uh, five, uh, and the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400 is uh, overnight down to five zero percent or 50 percent, and it's uh, 9.30 in the morning in the campsite, and I'm running the same solar panels that I ran the last time. Uh, that's the, uh, the Nomad 13.5, which is max 13 watts and then the um, four boulder 15s. Now as you can see the shadows are because this is the only spot with with any real sun in the campground and if you recall yesterday you have to really move these panels around as well as the the power supply to move it into sun and you will follow the sun uh, throughout the afternoon. Right now the uh, I'll show you what the uh, wattage is input 
as you can see we're only able to get five watts of input uh, just because of the way the shadows are uh, they should go away in about a half an hour and we'll see what it does then I only had an hour on the uh, on the charger from this morning at 9.30 uh, and then we had to, to relocate uh, and move the car so it's uh, restarting at 2 so it was on for an hour and now restarting again at 2 o'clock uh, with the same um, the same panel array I'll show you in a second uh, what the incoming wattage is right now and the panel uh, the power supply is still at uh, running 50 60 percent so you can see that it's running right at 40 uh, now 35 so it's down from from 45 so the chart the power supply is starting to get replenished pretty fast so we'll see how many hours it's going to take now well it's now 5 o'clock p.m. and uh, it's been charged for approximately uh, four total hours and uh, I just unplugged the uh, the panels that's not bad to go from with a Yeti 400 to go from uh, a 50 percent uh, charge to full charge in four hours now, this is what I call supercharge so I hope that's been helpful uh, I really enjoy this configuration it's worked great and we got a few more days to to be using it uh, for you guys and folks out there thanks for watching and carry on